welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing the saddest Levi's denim review, mainly because out of the four pairs I'm going to be sharing with you today, I was only able to button up two. And they are all the exact same size. So if you want to see my honest review on Levi's 501s, then just keep on watching. So to say that I was highly disappointed is an understatement. I had every intention to keep a couple of these pairs because the Levi's jeans that I have, which are the wedgie straight and the wedgie icon, I absolutely love. And I've gotten them in a size 28, which is actually smaller than the sizes that I got for this go around. And so, uh, obviously I had high hopes for them. I even sized up because I wanted them to be a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more casual and loose. And honestly, like that's not what happened. So I actually grabbed these four pairs from Amazon and I really wanted to try out more of the 501 jeans. So I grabbed four pairs. The first pairs that obviously I was drawn to was this white pair just because we're going into spring and summer and I wanted some lighter denim. I have some white jeans that I really like. They're from Topshop, uh, but I wanted to try them in this 501 style. So this is actually the white deconstructed. And as you can see, it says 29 by 30. So I got a size 29 thinking that, okay, the 28s in the wedgie straight and the wedgie icon fit, fit just fine. So these should be okay. But that was not the case. Uh, the 501 originals, they are 100% cotton. It says here they're high, high rise, fitted through the hip and thigh and they're straight light. Honestly, whenever I put this on, I just, when I got them like up where my thighs were, I already knew they were not going over my hips and my butts. And it proved me right because I was not even able to clasp it. So it does have this button fly um, and I was just like, there was absolutely no way it was going over my hips and my butt. And plus it wasn't flattering anyways, so even if I could because the backside was just completely flat. So looking back, I think I probably would not get uh, distressed white jeans. I feel like it's very like 2012, 2016 era. So if I do go back and try a different pair of Levi's or if I decide to get white jeans from another retailer, I think I'm just gonna get maybe like a straight leg that is not distressed. So that way it's a little bit more classic, a little bit more timeless, a little bit more capsule wardrobe. Um, but this one was very, very disappointing. Okay, since I started off with the bad news, let me go on to the good news. The one pair that actually fit right and actually went on, which again, I'm so like perplexed about it because they are all 501 jeans and they are all the exact same size. So these are also the 501 originals. The one thing that kind of stood out to me is the white hair is 100% cotton. Now I was expecting maybe these have a little bit more elastic in them and maybe that's the reason they give a little bit more give, um, but it's actually 99% cotton and 1% elastic. So I don't know if that makes the difference. I'm not sure. I just feel like the white pair has to be smaller. This is more of a classic true denim, more a capsule wardrobe style. There's no frays, there's no um, holes. Um, this one's called the Medium Indigo Worn In. And I love it for just a year round type of denim. This is kind of like a cross between like a skinny and like a true straight or a wide leg. So maybe you're kind of tired of your skinnies, but you can't quite commit to a wide leg. I think you'll really enjoy this pair because it's kind of like just kind of a true like not too straight but like kind of tapers it kind of like skims your leg if that makes sense but i really love this because it's also a little bit cropped so that way you can highlight cute footwear for spring and summer but this is a really great pair this is the one pair of denim that i was actually happy with whenever i tried it on and so i think i'm going to go ahead and keep this one okay let's move on to another sad one <laughs> the black pair. So again, 501 Originals. This is a same, everything's the same as the black one. This one is called Winona Forever. Um, so it is a distress that has the holes. It has the um, distressing on the hem, which I really, really loved. I thought that this was going to definitely be one of the pairs that I kept, but of course I could not get it around my hips. Um, there was absolutely no way that I was going to be able to um, close this. And so this one was a really big disappointment, more than the white one, 
was this black pair um, because I really, really liked it. I almost want to go ahead and just try to size it up to where it does fit. I'm kind of afraid though, whenever I get um, a larger size, sometimes there's more bunching here in the crotch and it does not look good. So I will have to go back to the drawing board on this one, which was a big disappointment, but the color and like the cut and everything is very, very good. Okay, let's move on to my final pair of 501 jeans. So this one is actually called Field Notes. And I just thought it was really a, a cute, like fun pair for spring and summer. It has this patchwork right here on the knee um, with like little daisies in a heart shape. And I thought it was just kind of cute. Kind of different. I did a jeans review a couple of years ago. I'll link the video here if you want to see it. But I think it's also Levi's that I was wearing. But they had like these really cute styles. One of them was like a two tone that I really like, and I almost want to like try to go back and get it because I did not end up keeping it. I just felt like it it wasn't like a like a, a capsule wardrobe piece, so I didn't keep it. But now that I'm thinking back, I really kind of liked. The style of it um, which I also really liked this one too with the heart but again this one for some reason felt a little tighter which again it's weird because it's the same size as the previous pair and it's just like it's not like a color like a white or a black denim it's just like an actual blue denim so I thought that it would fit but it did not it was I mean I was able to clasp it but it was very uncomfortable it was tight um just not as comfortable as the other blue jeans that i tried on from levi's so this one's also going to go back but i did want to highlight it because i thought it was so cute so maybe you'll have a better chance at um trying this out if, if you do end up going for this pair i would say to size up one and the blue jeans um as far as the white and the black i would probably recommend sizing two to three times up just depending on the type of fit that you want whether you want it to be a little bit more fitted to your body or if you want it to be a little bit more relaxed and casual i would size up probably three but again then you run into the issue where it yeah it could probably get over your hips but then you have a lot of material here in the crotch and it just does not look good so far i'm i will say i'm kind of disappointed in the 501 jeans i had high hopes for them because again other levi's jeans that i have i absolutely love and wear on repeat and so i really wanted to um, give these a try but i think that they're just not gonna go work out for me i do uh i am planning on visiting a local Levi's uh, retailer that's inside one of my local malls to kind of try different styles. And so um, once I get that done, I will let you know and let you uh, know exactly like which style actually fits my little bit more curvy frame. So um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay on top of that one. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you found this useful. At least you know what not to buy. And uh, yeah, and thanks so much for watching and we'll chat soon. Bye.